Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Electron TV. Okay, for today's knowledge sharing video topic, guys, it's about uh, diesel engine lost the power or cannot carry the load. Okay, in this video, guys, I will explain what part of a generator we replace to fix that kind of trouble. Okay. But before we start guys to our topic, if you are new in my YouTube channel, please guys, it will be a pleasure to me if you will subscribe and like my video. Okay. And uh, shout out to Shuttle Marine Electromechanical Training Center. Now guys, we have a online training. Okay. Okay guys, this is our generator number 3. And this is the local control panel to start and stop the generator. We have three generator, one, two, and three. Okay. This diesel engine, guys, is a uh, B type. Okay. And made in uh, China. And look, guys, the. B type diesel engine the injection pump is in the middle and it's not easy to access and the red and black is a servo motor and this one is a solenoid shut down bulb and this gray is a magnet lip solenoid shut down and this B type diesel generator guys have a Eight cylinder, four and left, four and right, and this is the alternator. Okay, and the main plate, three phase, brushless synchronous generator, type one FC six, class F, four fifty volts, Y connected. 500 ampere 390 kba 0 0.8 power factor 1800 rpm and the excitation voltage is uh, 115 volts and 4.5 ampere for so the weight and this is the nameplate of the diesel engine Canon diesel engine industry model TBD 234B8 number okay. date manufacture 2015 05 and the output 296 kilowatts 1800 revolution per minute or RPM and 1540 kilogram okay Okay guys, this is our main switchboard and uh, this is the synchro panel. And here guys, I just want to explain when the trouble was happened. Because I don't have an actual video when the trouble was happened. The trouble happened guys when the two ship screen was used at the same time. The two ship screen guys is a heavy load and the uh, generator number 3 start to drop down all the parameters voltage, hertz, kilowatts and ampere drop down to zero and 
and the generator number one parameters start to up high kilowatts put to the maximum amperes and the breaker was tripped because of overcurrent and also the number 3 breaker was stripped off and the ship was blocked out after that guys we try to put the number 1 in service alone and the number 3 generator was run with no load and the number 1 guys we put the load at least 100 kilowatts and check what sets happen after that guys number 1 is normal and then guys we try to parallel the number 3 or synchronize the number 3 to number 1 to transfer the load of number 1 to number 3 when we transfer the load guys to number 3 and disconnect the number 1 we notice guys when the load was reached to 100 kilowatts and the number 3 guys cannot carry the load the hertz was dropped down and also the kilowatts that's why we are sure that the problem was in the number 3 then guys after that we have a meeting and we talk about the problem what is the reason why it's happened then the third engineer he already experienced that kind of trouble that's why we try to replace one part of the diesel engine generator and guys the part of the diesel engine generator we removed and replaced with the new one that cause the diesel generator lost its power is the injection pump the injection pump guys here is in the middle so it's not easy to remove need time so we need to remove some other parts to make access and to remove that injection pump and also some uh, fuel line also removed and this is the injection pump that we removed that, that cause of the trouble you see also the hand pump we replaced with the new one after that guys we start the generator put some loads and generator back in normal and running good condition and the problem guys was solved okay and that's the only reason why the trouble is happening okay guys that's it for today the lesson learned guys from this video if your diesel generator was lost the hertz and kilowatts at the same time most of the time guys the problem was is in the engine side because the hertz in kilowatts is depend on the prime mover or your diesel engine therefore guys if your engine cannot give the power that the alternator need maybe you have a same trouble guys okay guys that's it for today i hope you learned something in this video okay uh, guys again don't forget to click like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also the notification bell therefore you're always notified every time i have a knowledge sharing video and guys thank you for your support and watching my video take care always and god bless